Hi, kids, it's Pastor Dave, and I'm here in the sanctuary beside our Advent wreath. Now, I talked a little bit about this Sunday, but now's a good time that we get to look at it and really talk about it a little bit more. Now, the Advent wreath marks down the four Sundays preceding Christmas. Sometimes it starts the Sunday after Thanksgiving, other times a week later. It all depends on how Christmas falls in the calendar. Now, it's four Sundays before Christmas, the 25th, not Christmas Eve. So if Christmas Eve is a Sunday, that's always going to be the fourth Sunday of Advent. If it's during the week, it's the Sunday preceding. Now, the colors of ours are purple and pink. Now, purple is the liturgical color for Advent. It's like Lent earlier in the year. They're both seasons of preparations leading up to a special feast, either Easter or Christmas. That's how the liturgical calendar tends to go. You go from purple to white, season of preparation to a season of celebration. Now in every church, the colors actually can be different. Blue is also an appropriate color for Advent. Some churches choose to use blue to dis make it distinct from Lent. Others to stay with purple. But what's Pretty much universally agreed upon is actually the pink. The pink candle is always for the third Sunday of Advent. Now this is a tradition that dates back a long time ago to medieval Europe. This was back before Advent was actually considered a season of the church. The season of Lent was always purple, but it's always kind of a more dour season. It's one that people tend to be a little more sad and eventually the church decided the third Sunday, roughly halfway through the season of Lent, would be a more joyous day to give people a little bit of a boost. And so they made it a lighter shade of purple, which add purple and white, you get pink. Now, when Advent came along and they modeled Advent on Lent, they kept the pink candle. And it is a reminder of the joy that we are supposed to have in the midst of our preparing for Christ. So every week we will light one of these. We've already lit the th first Sunday. This coming on the 6th will be the second. The 13th will be the pink. And on the 20th will be our fourth one before we have Christmas Eve on the 24th when we will light a Christ candle, which is not here yet, but that's always a white candle because as the calendar goes, a feast is always white. But that's what this is about. And this is a practice you can do at home. You can light candles with your parents, or you can even make paper ones and put a little paper flame on it. And it's a way of one counting down towards Christmas, but also seeing the light grow and grow as Christ prepares to come into the world. 